Just before the video starts, I want to let I want to let you know. Sorry that the video was late. Um, it was my birthday. It was my boyfriend's birthday, and I wanted to spend time with him. So don't worry. Um, yeah, this review up today. Uh, the Doja Cat second video in the miniseries will be up tomorrow. But also check out my podcast. I have a podcast now. It's a one man show where I just talk about Naruto and the internet and my personal stories. But yeah, I'm on Anchor, Spotify, and I have. I'll have the first 18 episodes on SoundCloud, and then when I hit my bandwidth, I'm only going to be on Anchor and whatever other um, platforms that Anchor pushes my podcast to. But thank you guys. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the review. Hello again. I'm going to refilm this. I filmed this video once, and I did not like the way it came up because I forgot to include important information. But today, we're going to be talking about the... We're going to talk about Inhale Health's Melatonin disposable vaping device however they do not call it a vaping device or disposable they call it a inhaler because they are classy and they're healthy um it basically came in a little standard bubble mailer they have a little insert about what they're about basically it just says that they're lab tested it's made in the usa it doesn't have any harmful chemicals in it as 400 breaths and every breath you take which they recommend one two three seconds while you inhale is one mg there's 40 mg total of melatonin in it let's so i'll read the ingredients for you it is just melatonin organic vegetable glycerin and natural and artificial flavors the only flavor that they have for melatonin right now currently is the lavender dream scent it comes in a little box they have this beautiful little saying for you pause if you want to read it because I'm not going to because I already filmed this video and I didn't like it the first time, but it just has a little small insert for you and another little small foil packaging and then it's a little cap that I, that I threw away somewhere. So let's talk about the product briefly. It is small, sleek, it's nice. As I said previously, it has 40 mg of melatonin every breath you take, which they recommend one to three seconds. I do one to five, so I get a little bit more. They also recommend that you take one to, what is it? No, five to 10 breaths. So you're doing like 50, no, five, 15 to 30 seconds of hitting your, not hitting, but of, of inhalation of the melatonin basically. And I find that it's really, really nice. It's very smooth. The lavender scent. If you're someone who has incense or if you burn lavender, it smells, the. it tastes, the exact same way that it smells, which is crazy. So like when you in, when you exhale, you can kind of smell it a little bit on your clothes, but it's very nice. It's very subtle. It's really, really super floral actually. I found their company and the product actually through a TikTok and a fucking find the TikTok. I'll put it up here for you, but if not, um, basically this person was like addicted to caffeine and they're like, oh, like I just want like something that's a little bit easier so I don't have to buy a coffee all the time. These retail for... $19.99, I'm not sure what that is with tax, around like $20.83 or $21. I was able to get it for $17 with a discount code through the Honey Extension Web Browser. If you don't have it, please download it. I'm not affiliated, I'm also, I'm not affiliated with either of these companies. I, this is not a sponsored post by either of these companies. This, these are just companies and like products that I really, really like. And I wanna share with you because I feel like Inhale Health is actually a pretty decent company. Like they're not cutting costs. The product is a little bit more expensive because they are using like organic and natural ingredients. And also it's also better for you because it doesn't have, like I believe it's like, let me actually read the insert, what bad ingredients they have. There's no vitamin E, acetate, diacetyl, or propyl, propylene, glycol, or nicotine. So it's not gonna give you advanced lung cancer. You won't be having any lung issues anytime soon, however, um, if you are someone who has asthma or you're just adverse to vaping, I don't recommend this product for you. So that's all the things about the product. Let's talk about my customer service experience because, oh boy, I had a difficult time trying to get this product. So I ordered it on March 23rd. No, yes. Somewhere around March 20th, 23rd is when I had ordered. No, no, no. Yeah, I ordered March 20th or 17th. I had ordered some around earlier in March. It's April now, so that's what it is. It took about a week to get to me. However, because my apartment block, <laughs> because my apartment complex is really weird, I actually wasn't able to get it and it got sent back to USPS, unfortunately. And so I just didn't have <laughs> my, my device. And so I 
um, I, you know, I sent a little message and an email to USPS and I sent the email to Inhale Health and I was like, hey, I really want this device. I have trouble sleeping. I have insomnia. It's really, really bad. I just think that this device would help me out, help me out a lot. And um, I think it's Ariel. Yeah, Ariel, was, she emailed me back and she's like, hey, like, we're literally gonna, we're just gonna send you another one free of charge at the same address if that's cool. And I was like, thank you so much. I literally did a survey for them and everything because I thought that was really cool because a lot of places that I've experienced don't have the best customer service so it was really nice just for them to be like hey just here's another one on the house don't even worry about it um the best case scenario was that i ended up with two worst case scenario i just get the second device that was shipped to me but honestly that was the like the best customer service i've ever, ever experienced i think it was really cool for them just to send me another device and not be like because they could have just scapegoated it and been like oh well like it's your fault for not putting the address right but yeah that was a really really nice experience so We've done our product showcasing. I was talking about my customer service experience. Let's now talk about my experience with the device. As previously stated, in case you um, are not listening or you just don't care, that's also fine. Every every inhale you take is one mg. There's 40 mg max in the entire device. They recommend five to 10 inhales, which is about 15 to 30 in seconds of inhalation if you are taking like the recommended amount. I do five to six breaths and I do about like five seconds of each so I'm getting a little bit more just because I'm a bigger person. I just need a little bit more melatonin to put me to sleep. Um, it's very very nice. It hits super nice. It's super smooth. I don't really cough. Again, it's, it's a vaping device. It's gonna vape whether- oh yeah, they like to call it inhaler. That's what Inhale Health likes to call these. The inhaler hits very very nice. It's super smooth. Um, if you are someone- I don't know if I said this already, but if you basically- yeah, if you burn lavender or you have incense, it essentially just smells no, no it tastes like the smell which is very very it's super super floral and it's super kind of true to the lavender scent if you have if you like grow lavender where you live it actually smells and tastes exactly like that which is really crazy other than that i went well, on one of the side effects but one of the weird things that i've noticed while using this device is that i have very vivid dreams and nightmares um i've used this device for three no no for four days i've used it and only two nights i haven't had dreams or nightmares However, the first and the last time I used it, I had a super vivid dream, which was super cool. But then I also had a very intense nightmare on the last night I used it. I didn't use it last night just because I wanted some natural sleep because um, these are just to get you uh, like any, like whether it's like a drink or a vitamin or a liquid form or even if it's like CBD drops, these are just used to get you in the habit of sleeping at the time that you want to and then your body eventually will start producing the chemical on its own and you will start um, just sleeping around like, let's say like, also, I take it around 10, 11 p.m. I will fall asleep. Yesterday I fell asleep at 10 or and 11 p.m. Maybe it's just like 10, 12, 12 in the midnight. I fell asleep at midnight um, and it was very peaceful sleep. But yeah, that's the only adverse side effect that I've experienced, just the vivid and intense dreams and nightmares. However, the only other thing that I really don't like about this device just is that it is technically a disposable. You, it's really hard to recycle these. You do have to throw them away. So it is it is a lot of waste and it is a lot of mechanical waste. I'm also thinking maybe I can return the device. Maybe they can recycle it properly or even reuse it for future devices. But I really, really like this product. I recommend it even if you do. Oh yeah, so they do have commissions. If you are a customer, you can get a 15% commission off of people who purchase the device with your link and your code. I will put my link below and I'll leave my code right here if you guys want to, you know, Give me a little bit of your coin. I would appreciate it. But yeah, again, this was not sponsored. I am not affiliated with the company. However, even even though I am a consumer and a customer, I do get a little bit of a commission if you do purchase from my link, I believe. Yes, so not sponsored, but I am an affiliate, kind of. Yeah, but if you do like disposables, you do like vaping, you're not adverse to uh, vaping devices i would say recommended i i highly recommend it it's super cool it's also it's a company that cares about your health as well which i also thought that was kind of endearing because there's a lot of companies who do cut corners they're not using organic products or they just want to make a quick buck but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video if you have any makeup products anything else you would like me to review or um experience please let me know i would love to hear about it in the comments down below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video